Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a platformer in Godot 4. To get started, let's create a character body 2D node, add in a sprite, and a collision shape. Make sure that collision shape is a child of the character body. Let's set it to a square. Change up our sprite to whatever sprite you have. I'll go ahead and scale it. Rename it to player. Let's create a new script. As you can see here, there is some preloaded code. Let's go over to our project, project settings, input map, add in our left, right, up, down, and jump buttons. Go ahead and assign those. All right, now let's go ahead and edit those in our script. Let's delete our UI left and our UI right. And place UI except with jump. I have a tutorial on how to use tile maps in Godot 4. Please check that out if you want to use that in this tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to be using a rectangle. So let's do static body, a collision shape, and a color rect. Let's call this ground. Change this to a square. Change this color to some more ground-like color, like a that green works. Scale it up. And now, if we add a camera 2D to our player, we press play, you will see we have a semi-functioning platformer. Go ahead and change the speed and the jump velocity. Let's change this to an at export variable for both. That way we can edit outside of the script. So we go to our player. We can now change our jump velocity. Let's change it to 500. So we will now jump a bit higher. Let's go ahead and change some settings with our camera. Enable position smoothing. Our process callback to physics. This will make it less choppy. We'll raise it up a little bit to make it not exactly centered on the player. This is a quick way to limit the camera. So let's say you're starting from the left and moving to the right. You don't want the player to be able to move or look left. So if we enable our draw limits, go to our limits. We can set our Limit here, we can set it to about right here at the edge. And if we press play and we move, keep moving, there'll be a point where our camera will stop moving, but our player will keep moving. And then eventually our player will catch up, will catch back up with the camera. For a point system, let's create a text edit. I'll move this up here. We can, let's just call it points. Go over to our player. Let's reference that. Let's rename this to points UI because we'll be creating a actual variable called points, which will set the zero by default. Back over to our scene. Let's create a area 2D. Add in a sprite. Go add in the player sprite for now. Change the visibility. Uh, let's make it more of a golden color since we're creating a coin. Let's go ahead. Add in a collision shape. Now let's head back over to our player. Create a new function. Let's call it add points. We will pass in the amount of points we want to receive. And then in here, our points will, let's get our points. And then our points UI, we'll get our points. So our SCR of our points, that will be a string. And sorry, I forgot to make this a dot text. Now over to our coin, create a new script. Delete all of this. Let's grab a body entered, connect that to our coin. Now, we will just need to check if our body name is equal to player. So if it's our player, then we will do body dot add points with about 50 points. And we will queue free, that will delete our coin. Press play. If we jump up, we will get points. And you can duplicate as many coins as you would like, and it will work. Now, I will not be going too in-depth into how to make enemy AI in this tutorial. However, I will show you how to add health. So let's go create a new health bar. Drag that up. Quarter player. Do the exact same thing we do with our points. 
for health, call it UI, variable health. We'll set this to a automatic 10, create a new function called take damage. We'll just do D for damage. Our health will minus get D. Our health UI dot text will receive an STR of our health. Now, if our health is less than or equal to zero, we will then get our tree dot quit. This will quit the game. You can do anything you want here for your death, but I will just do this for now. I'm just going to duplicate a coin to demonstrate it. So let's put it over here. Maybe make it a little bit meaner looking by making it red or the best we can. And now if we rename it to enemy, let's detach this script, create a new one, connect the body enter to it. There we go. Delete the rest of this. We'll once again, check if our body name is player, then we will do body dot take damage. Now let's take two damage. And that's it. That's all we have to do. Now, if we press it and put it right here, press play, we will take damage. And it will quit the game. Again, you can change your scene or whatever you would like. One thing we can do instead of quitting our scene, we can reload our current scene. This will just reset the level. So if I grab all these coins and I take damage, it will restart me. And finally, we can go to our project, general, our environment. Let's create a blue sky. Let's make our ground a bit wider. Six up all the camera. And now we press play. It looks a bit better. Anyways, guys, hope you found this story helpful. This is a part one. So if you have any questions or comments about a part two, I will create it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.